today I'm going to be looking at the touring moped style electric bike from XJM Bike. Let's unbox it, put it together, and see what we've got. Move, mama, move. Move, move. Okay, it's big. The best comparison is my Lanker Lacer XT750 with wheel. But at 195 centimeters or 77 inches, the Tory is 12 centimeters longer than the Lanker Lacer. The Tory is also 35 kg or 77 pounds to the Lanker Lacer's 27 kg or 60 pounds, bigger and heavier. So I'm not just small, it's a really big bike. That said, it has much better build quality than the Lanker Lacer. Better handlebars, grips, seat, huge display, USB charging ports, really a big step up and about the same price and power. The Touring has a 48 volt, 40 nm hour removable battery, driving a powerful 48 volt, 750 watt motor, which is more than sufficient for any reasonable use. The only questions are these tires. This is the first flat tire bike I've owned or tested. And while I have some opinions on them, I'm going to wait until I test it in the real world to decide. Okay, let's go.
那个年末玩。啊，五个吧，五个吧，对，分开。Here's the thing I was worried about. Fat tires are great for going over anything that's not flat road. Snow, sand, 
hills, grass, mud trails, it turns those into what feels like flat road. You can go pretty much anywhere. Flat road, on the other hand, tends to turn into sticky goo with fat tires. That's a lot more rolling resistance. Fat tires run at a lower pressure, so they're just going to be less efficient there. You can increase the tire pressure if you plan on doing a lot of urban riding. But then why get a fat tire bike in the first place with the extra weight? I'm 46 kg, this is a 35 kg bike as is. I have a hard time just pedaling in any gear. A lot of that is my fault, not the bike's fault. It's just a little too big for me. If you are a bigger person, it will be less of an issue. I needed a power assist the whole time where other bikes, it was optional. That said, with the power assist, it's a super smooth ride and all the road construction you've seen me bouncing over in the past, it rolled over like nothing. I ended up just leaving it in one of the middle gears and doing heels with the throttle. My concern is, people will see the big tires and get it for style reasons because it looks more like a moped or motorcycle which have higher pressure tires suitable for flat roads. This is an off-road recreational bike and it's ideal when you need to spend at least some of your time doing that. If you are not going to be doing any off-off-roading and don't need a dual-purpose bike, I would not get this bike. Get a regular road e-bike. But snow, grass, dirt roads, yes, it does what it's supposed to and will handle that very well. Next thing, the battery is removable, which is good because unless you're the hawk, you don't want to carry this up any stairs. The display is fantastic, best I've seen so far, large and easy to read. The gear shifter and the rest are standard and easy to use. The build quality is excellent. Again, so long as you're okay with the size and the weight. Final verdict. Not a commuter unless you are in a rural or suburban setting. A great recreational bike I can recommend for anyone over 55 kilograms or 120 pounds who is doing some off-roading. That's it for today. Until next time, remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.